Hey everybody, so this week I'm gonna show you a cool way to display your shoes or anything else you want to display with a cool backlift LED shelf. This is for my brother who likes his shoes, as you can see right here. If you wanna see how I do it, stick around. The majority of this project is gonna be made with two half inch sheets of plywood and then a sheet of quarter inch. I start by marking out all the dados and then I make this little block so I know the distance from the edge of the router to the bit and I just make that mark on all the other marks that I've already done so I know where to put my fence to run my router. Now that all the dados are cut on one side I have to rip uh, the side verticals off of this panel and after I cut those off I flip it over because the two center vertical parts have to have dados on either side so once I flip it over I just go ahead and mark those out again use my little block uh, so I know how far to put my fence over and then just run the router through to cut all these dados So after I cut the dados on the center sections, I rip them through the table saw to their final dimension. And I then clamp everything together and mark it because I want to make sure that all the dados line up and I have the faces all the same. I go ahead and cut them to the final lengths. The two center sections, I cut that top dado all the way off. And then the outside ones, I cut it where the dado is still there so that the top piece can uh, cap the top of the shelf. I then rip all these boards down so that they are the horizontals on the shelf and then I make a stop block on my miter saw and go ahead and cut them all to size. So I go ahead and put some shelves in there so I can get the final length of the top part uh, just mark lay it in there and then mark it and then cut it on the miter saw cut a 30 degree angle on the back of all the shells my thought on this was that the LEDs will be pointing more down and the actual cubicles will be lit up more doing it this way I go and I cut off a half inch on the bottoms of all the of the two center vertical parts because I'm going to put a panel on the bottom that's going to cap that. So I had to get my brother and cameraman to help me a little bit in this one. It was a little difficult to do by myself. But we assembled it. We start with the center section. I just used some glue and brads. And once I get the whole center section done, I actually take the sides and attach the sides just by themselves and then bring those together and attach it all with just glue and clamps to the center section. So I leave it clamped up for a day, take the clamps off, and now I'm going to rip the plywood down on the table saw and then cut it at the final length on the miter saw for the cap that's on the bottom. And I just use brads and 
wood glue to secure it and I clamp it for a while until it sits up. So while that is actually drying and, and getting put in place, I take a, some pine that we bought and I plane it down to a half inch in thickness, seeing as the plywood is a half inch, and I'm going to cut it down into strips to cover all the, the ply on the front of the shelf, seeing as that's not something that you really want to look at. This way it makes it look a whole lot better and you it's harder to tell that it's plywood. So I use a, the orbital sander and 120 grit just to go over the whole thing, just to, in case there's some spots that need to be fixed before paint. Um, I then take the quarter inch back panel and rip it down to its uh, final dimensions. And I attach it on the back just to make sure it's going to be secured. And I go ahead and drill the holes where the LED wiring is going to go through the back. I didn't like that the dados didn't get covered up all the way because of the shelves being shorter so that there's room for the LED light. So I cut some little tiny pieces of plywood down to fill that gap. And I go ahead and drill holes in between all of them. That way there's room to run the LEDs through. So we wanted to make it really clean looking so we decided to paint the whole thing white. Also I thought that the LEDs would reflect and be a whole lot brighter if the whole thing's white. So I paint the back panel first and then I have to go through and paint all these shelves. It was a pain to paint these individual little cubby holes. I wish I had a, had a sprayer. I actually have one on its way so hopefully the next project like this will be a whole lot easier painting. But it took, being that it's white, and the paint was a paint and primer all in one, but it took about three to four coats to finally get it the way we wanted it. So when my brother came to me with this idea, I was pretty excited because I've not made a, a project yet that has, that has LEDs or really LEDs that you have to solder, which is the first time that I've ever done this. So I run them through, figure out what the links need to be, cut them where the copper little cut strips are, peel back the weather stripping so that I can solder on the wires. One will go into this, up through the back panel, and then one will be here through the back panel, and then they'll be attached together. So this was the, my first time I soldered. I encourage you to get a little scrap piece and try some on it first like I did before going to the, the real project. But you put a little bit of solder down and then you heat the solder and stick the wire in it, or at least that's what I did. And I put some heat shrink tubing on there so that hopefully it doesn't pull off and it stays together. <laughs> So change of pace. So when I pulled the LEDs through the back panel, I actually pulled the solder and the copper strip off of the LED strip. So those LEDs were no good or so they didn't go the full length of the thing. So I got with Brent from Clean Cut Woodworking. His links to all his social media will be down below. And he was he's pretty knowledgeable with LEDs and he helped me out to figure out an easier way to do this and to get it the way that I wanted. So all the LEDs are connect with these snap connectors and no solder involved. So it's pretty much just push to connect and push everything together. So I'll show you how that's done. So these are the little connectors. So this way we don't have to use any solder, makes everything easier. One side's for the wires, one side's for the LED strip. You just put the LEDs in and the little spiky pieces in there, press through 
the bottom of the strip and connect to the little copper parts. Then you take the wires, make sure you line them up in relation to the LED, the strip. You just stick them in there, line everything up, line everything up, and then you just press those down. And then this way you have to use no solder, makes everything easier. You use little pins and connect everything together. So let's show you how the rest of it's done. So I run all these through the back panel and this way it's a whole lot easier. There's a five split connector that just has direct lines straight from the power source and the Wi-Fi connector to each strip. No more daisy chaining and serpentine pattern all around. It's just all on one side. Then you want to secure all the wires down. I used hot glue and tape to make sure everything stays in place. So this LED kit came with a remote. You also can hook it up to Wi-Fi, but that's not something we've done yet. So with the remote, you can change all the different colors. I personally like the white. I just think it looks the best. But you can change it to red and everything. You do have to point it at the sensor where you have it poking out. So it turns to red, green, blue, but it turns basically any color you want it to. And then I'll go back to white, but you also can dim it if you want it to, which I think is neat but it does look the best if you just keep it bright. So I will have a link to the kit. Everything I used in this down below will be an Amazon affiliate link. So if you're interested in uh, making a project similar to this, go check out those links. They do help me out if you go purchase it from that. So thanks for watching everybody. If you like this custom baglet LED shoe rack, please click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you do decide to make something yourself or kind of do your own take on this, uh, let me know on Instagram at Ox in the Shop. But as always, I'll see y'all next time and have a good one.